good morning, good morning. Today is yet another day that the Lord has made, and although I am rejoicing in it, I am so sad. One of my good friends, my brother, Reuben, Christian Isaiah Littleton, he has transitioned to go home to be with the Lord. He was stricken with cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and it went to, it lasted in stage three, maybe a few weeks, and then instantly stage four. And he's been dealing with this, what, for about a year now? Um, maybe a little over a year. And it just attacked his body and whew, my little brother was such a special individual he really really was um, powerful man of God young theologian dissect and cut the word like it's nobody's business um, whoo This is a tough one. It is. Um, oh my gosh. So be praying for the Littleton family. Um, praying for his mom. He had uh, tons of aunts, uncles. Um, it made me think of when his father passed and I was at the funeral and, you know, things were kind of going disarray and, um, like brothers and sisters do, um, he asked me to step in and take over some things and speak and, and even when my father passed, he was there for me. He was there for my mom, there for my family. Oh, Jesus. I'm like literally in shock. I couldn't even sleep last night. I think when I finally laid down, it was, what, maybe two o'clock? Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, whew. The people that are in your life is by choice. No one can make themselves stay in your life. So if you choose to have these people in your life, when situations happen, when arguments happen, and that's a part of life, I get it. But forgive quickly. Move on. Um, you just never know. You really, really, really never know. I've never heard of someone being stricken with something so quickly. I mean, when you find out you have something, it's already basically at stage four. And you know stage four is the end. And, well, that's that's what the doctors say. Stage four is the end. Um, God can turn that thing around. God sometimes turns things around, and sometimes God does not. And he does all things well. So, oh, Jesus. Um, my mom even took it, um, pretty hard. She knew how close me and Reuben was. And um, our paths kind of over the last few years, you know, he was going through some, going through some, I can't even talk, going through some things and processes and transitions and but, oh my gosh. He's an example of, I tell people all the time, I said, family doesn't mean bloodline through genetics. I said, to be honest, the best bloodline is the godly bloodline. Um, oh, my gosh. You couldn't tell me. You couldn't tell us that we weren't siblings. You couldn't. You couldn't. And... Um, I just celebrate his life on today. I do. 
He passed away yesterday, um, but he lived an amazing life. He did. Uh, so, um, like I said, please say a prayer for his mom, Deborah, Deborah Littleton, his family, that God would just be the paraclete, the comforter that only he can be for her and for them. And although, yes, we hear the slogans, you know, um, earth's loss, heaven's gain, all this type of stuff. And yes, we understand that and we know all of that, but in the heat of the moment, um, it doesn't take away the pain that we're experiencing. So pray for peace and comfort and strength. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.